Hello and welcome to Smoothie Makers Headquarters. This is Randy Rhodes and uh, today we're going to be doing a hands-on review of the Hamilton uh, Beach single serving blender smoothie maker. And uh, this is actually a, a pretty impressive unit. This is what I first bought when I decided to start getting into green smoothies. So I thought, well, let's go ahead and uh, make one for you. But before I do, this is what you get. You get the base uh, here, which is nice and compact. There's a cord reel that you can wrap the cord around at the bottom. You can take this off, the lid. There's two lids. has a sippy uh, spout here. And you can invert this over. And you have a pretty compact uh, setup if you want to travel. Um, the containers hold uh, 16 ounces comfortably, 20 ounces. You max it out to the very top at about 22 ounces. Okay. So what we're going to do, I've got some uh, fruit over here, and I'm just going to whip up a quick smoothie, uh, green smoothie for you. This is what I do in the mornings. I make uh, use this to make just a single serving, and I'm going to start out by uh, adding some water. I typically don't put in juice uh, because I don't. I, I try to stay away from anything processed. Uh, if I'm going to want orange juice, I'm just going to take some oranges and I'm going to fresh, uh, fresh squeeze them. Or, in this case, I'm going to peel some and drop them in. I'm going to use some banana here. Break it up. And that's one thing you have to do with this. This is not going to be your heavy duty uh, blender that you're going to use day in and day out, multiple times during the day. I do use it every day, but... Uh, uh, or not just about every day, but it, it's it's not going to be real rugged for you to uh, blend up a lot of stuff that's whole. Now I do have some leafy greens here. I've got some cilantro, and I've got some kale. Now I've taken the kale off the stem uh, because you're not going to stick a stem in this size and grind it up. Now I do in my Vitamix that I have, but you're not going to be able to do that in this. And uh, now I'm going to get some fresh fruit, and I left it in the freezer. Let me pull it out so you can see the uh, performance on <clears throat> on frozen fruit. And this is normally uh, how I do this. I have a Gordon Food Service. I buy five pounds of uh, fruit at a time. So got some peaches, grapes, some strawberries. We're just going to throw uh, some of this in. Now one thing with this as well, um, I don't jam pack it. A lot of times I'll just put the, uh, let me throw this back in the freezer, I'll just put the fruit in and grind it up and then add the greens on top. But uh, let's go ahead and do that. I've got some spinach that I'll add a little bit later. Put the lid on. There's a place to lock so that you don't have to hold. If You, you can put this on anywhere and it'll still, but it'll rotate. So you have to hold it. But uh, if you line up the unlock, slide it over to the lock. It's a single speed, one button. And there we go. It's fairly quiet. I mean, it's catching those uh, frozen fruits in there, so it's going to make a little bit of a noise. And then I'm just going to keep pulsing it for a little bit. Look at it. I've got uh, some spinach here. I'm going to throw that in on top. Just a little bit of care needs to be done with this. And since I'm going to drink this actually off after uh, I get done with the review, I like to add local raw honey. Don't buy, if you do this, don't buy the honey in the store. It's been cooked and uh, all the nutrients have been cooked out of the honey. Buy local raw honey, preferably local to the area you live in. That way you're getting the pollen and everything from your area. Helps, uh, it's a great help with sinuses. All right, let's go back. Put a touch more water in. It doesn't like to grind up when it's real thick. It will. Just depends. But when you thin it out, it's gra it's grabbing that uh, a lot quicker. 
So I'm going to grind this up as good as I can, and then I'm going to put a little bit on a uh, plate for you, and we'll see how, hopefully I'll be able to show you just how fine this is. Uh, it does a decent job for me in the mornings. Um, I'm not chewing a lot of the greens. Just have to be careful what you put in it. Like I said, it's not going to be a real heavy-duty blender for you. But uh, for a single serving with the two, two uh, jars, now I can take this off and I'm ready to go. The blades don't come off. The blades are actually at the bottom of this. They don't come out. And I'm ready to go. I could take this uh, with me in the car uh, to work with me. Now the lid is not water uh, watertight. You do need to be very careful that you, you tilt it and it's going to spill. But um, that's really the, the convenience that I like the most out of this. Got to try it. Hmm. Now hopefully it's still a little bit too thick to show you this really good. But you can see by that there's no big chunks. There's just little fine granulars, but you're not going to chew this. Which, believe me, some blenders you do chew. Downside is a little bit of the cleanup. Um, there's a lot of nooks and crannies in the jar here. Got some ridges. Getting trying to get down in past the blades since they're fixed, they do not come out. A little bit of a challenge. And then underneath here, you have this area that does uh, get gunked up. But uh, I normally just take a washcloth, shove down in there, and do around like that. Cleans it up. Same with the base unit. Um, you cannot put this in water, obviously, uh, but you can the jars. But uh, there's just, you know, this is the unit that spins down here where the blades engage. There's just some nooks and crannies to get clean. So that's probably my biggest knock of this uh, is just the cleanup of it. But frankly, if I, uh, I make this in the morning when I have my quiet time along with my uh, hot drinks, I'm going to put it in another cup. Uh, I rinse it under water. And uh, if I want to, I'll put a little bit of water, put some soap in there, put it back on the base unit and run it to clean, get the bottom clean. And that does a real good job with it. it uh, uh, you know, it's not going to be an issue there. You can put it on the top rack of the dishwasher if you want. But that's it. The Hamilton Beach Single Serve Smoothie Maker. I think it's a great uh, purchase, especially for the price, uh, for what you get. comes with a one-year warranty. The, power, uh, the motor is 175 watts. It does a good job. I have no complaints about the consistency of my smoothies. When I use this, whether I'm using a little bit of ice cubes, frozen fruit, you just have to be careful how you pack it and uh, how you use it. And uh, I've used this has served me well for almost six months. So this is Randy with Smoothie Makers Headquarters signing off, and uh, check this out.